Greetings, entities and guardians. My name is Hyper Himes, and welcome back to Cookie Run Oven Break, where we're going to be focusing once again on the giant veggie contest. And of course, this actually seems like one of the last episodes that we'll be doing on this until the next update, where we get that new uh, fashionista looking cookie, which I completely forgot the name of because it's too complicated for me to remember. However, I will mention that we probably might do another video focusing on this event, mainly just because there's actually some more that we can run through with these levels because we can run through them with maximum plant power, which will require me to do a couple few missions to try and complete, but I would like to show off how powerful you can get within these levels. But with that being said, the last thing that we can do within part one being a healthy competition is run with potato cookie because we've already fully done it with spinach and we've already fully done it but we've already fully done it with beet. So now we just have to do it with potato and see how big this potato can grow. So let's go ahead and read the story, see how it works out for us, and specifically see how it works out for potato because uh, they seem to be having an interesting time here because like, you know, from having the giant potato eaten to uh, basically knowing the fact that like spinach is still in the competition, but like beet is just gone. So now the competition seems really easy to judge now. Anyways, we have Dr. Bones Cookie here saying, potato, cook <laughs> potato cookie, please come up to the stage and introduce your giant potato. Uh, my, my giant potato is a... Uh, what was that? I thought I just heard something. N nothing. It, it, it's nothing. My giant potato got plenty of sunshine and it's very nutritious. This is how I grew up. Okay, so we're back here, I guess. Last night. I'm so sorry, potato cookie. We were just watching cartoons and didn't know the potatoes were, were going loose in the field. What are we going to do now? The potatoes ate your giant potato. I told you we should finish cleaning before watching cartoons. It's alright, so stop crying. It's nobody's fault, okay? Does it mean we can't enter the contest? But you worked so hard to grow that potato. Things don't always go the way you want, and that's okay. I, I know that might be hard for you to understand now, but it's going to be okay. I'll figure something out, so don't worry and go to sleep. Sorry. We're really sorry. <sighs> Silly rascals. Their eyes are all puffy from crying. I said I'll figure something out, but what am I actually going to do? The contest is tomorrow. I suppose I will just have to give up. Huh? Someone at the door? Who could it be at this hour? Oh, look at those little pigs. Door's open. Come in. Hi, is this where the uh, baby potato cookie lives? You're uh, smiling just for you. I'm Poppin' Candy Cookie from Cake Pops. I was filming for a show this morning in the area, and baby uh, potato cookies visited. I promised to give them autographs, but just remembered about it. I know it's really late, but could I see them? Oh, well, I see. That's very sweet of you, but they've just gone to sleep. No, no, it's my fault for visiting too late. Uh, why don't I leave them an autograph, if that's okay with you? Oh, they'd love it here. Or just, they'd love that. Here, come sit. I'll go get you some steamed potatoes. You don't have to. I don't want to trouble you. You're, you're a guest, and the Hamlet cookies love to treat our guests. We love Sharon. I know it's a bit messy in here, but make yourself at home. I did see the potato field was a mess, and I see that your house is covered in mud. Did something happen? It's a long story. Baby potato cookies told me about a giant potato earlier. Could I see it? I want to take a picture of it. Well, you see, while, uh, while I was out, the, the the potatoes, they ate it. And I don't know if I'll be able to enter the contest. What? Oh no, but baby potato cookies were really looking forward to the contest. That's what I'm worried about too. I could just try again next year, but my siblings are blaming themselves too much. Hmm, I wonder if there's a way to sort this out. How about digging the field again? Maybe there will be a bigger potato. Hmm, I don't know about that. If there's anything I can do, I'll help. How about we just make a giant potato? What? Make it? W wait, who are you? I'm Butter Pretzel Cookie, famous for my butter paintings. I was visiting Happy, or just Healthy Hamlet. I keep wanting to call it Happy Healthy Hamlet, because that's literally the name of the thing, in hopes to find inspiration for my next work. But I did not expect to see such an interesting combination. A farmer and an idol. This contrast has sparked me with inspiration. Besides, hearing about what has happened makes it such more interesting. Make a giant potato? What did you mean by that, Butter Pretzel Cookie? I mean exactly that. Art is creating something from nothing. If the plant, and no, if the giant potato is gone, then make a giant potato. And what, what could replace it? But in my house, there are only a few veggies and potatoes. Potatoes? Potatoes. Yeah, Kukurika. How about that giant potato? Inspired, I am popping candy cookie. Pass, wait. Uh, inspired, I am popping candy cookie. Pass me my paintbrush over there. <laughs> that is the weirdest face I've ever seen. Oh, buttered potatoes, I understand that, but oh, is the giant potato a giant pig? Oh, no. Huh? Oh, uh, of, of course. Here. 
I'm going to paint a still life painting that has never been done before. A still life painting that moves but doesn't move. This will be revolutionary in the world of cookie art. Are you saying that this is going to turn into potato? You're going to turn this potato into a giant potato? But that's only a trick. We won't be able to fool everyone. Well, if you have any better ideas, I'm all ears. Did you say that the contest is tomorrow? And look, the blend is smooth. Of the blend of smooth butter and potato. Huh. If we manage to fool everyone just for one day, it'll be no problem. Also, it is not like you've never grown a giant potato before. It's just these potatoes ate it. They should be held accountable too, you know. Plus, it is not easy to raise such a gigantic potato too. Hmm. I think it's a plausible idea, and it will make baby potato cookies happy too. But besides, look at the potato. It really smells like smooth butter. A real potato. What if it's smooth like butter? Criminal undercut. It is just the perfect size too. I will paint you the most magical painting, transforming a potato into a potato. This will be a masterpiece. So now I understand why the potato is kind of sus here. <sighs> potato, you need to stay very still, okay? We can't get caught now. Wow, this potato smells so buttery. You're right. How could such a gigantic potato smell so buttery? What's your secret? Well, I, uh, I uh, sprayed the butter fertilizer when I planted it. I gave great care as well. Look at that. It's my butter giant potato. Wow, that's a unique farming technique. I'm sure there will be lots of cookies who would want to try that out. Yeah, Shadida. The contest is also great for showing each other's cool farming tricks. Huh? The giant potato moved again. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, how, how could it move? I feel the breath. Oh, that, that, that's just a wind apple cookie. It's so soft and squeezy. Oh, wait, apple cookie, you shouldn't mess with a potato like that. Huh? I think it moved again. Am I the only one seeing this? Well, <laughs> it's, it's awfully windy today, isn't it? For some reason, the veggies around the potato potato seems to be gotten smaller. Weird. Oh! Don't move, potato. <laughs> Why don't we go, we, go weigh my potato now? <laughs> Let's go. Oh, it's all going downhill. It's going downhill. I'm banking on the fact that this is going to actually end off on like angle. It's going to end off on like such a wicked cliffhanger. And it's, we're just going to have to wait at the edge of our seats until the uh, next update comes out. But whatever the case is, we have to roll with potato cookie and also the pet, which I did raise to level seven because I thought it'd be fitting for this level. Level three, level three. And I guess these are the associated treasures we should run with. So I'll just slap those on there because, you know, we're just trying to get a good amount of points possible. And what, of our, what do our techniques consist of? Okay, 10. Okay. What am I saying? 10,000. 30,000 is this, which is actually costs 100. Uh, 30,000 points for yellow bear jellies. Seems simple, but actually might work. I'm so bloated. I'm sorry. Uh, plumbing jelly, uh, 6,000 points for all jellies. That actually might be pretty helpful. Uh, plumbing magnet jump. Gain mini magnetic effect for 8 seconds after 20 jumps. Energy drain increased. Is that worth it? I guess it might depend. And now we also have this, which is one sleeping potato becomes a silver potato, creating a giant mode item. Hmm. I guess I'll activate that and also maybe all the jellies. I don't know. We can only do 300 here. So... I guess for what we have here, maybe it will be enough for S rank. I don't know. We'll just see what we can do, because of course we can do better, but that requires us getting more uh, points. Okay, so here's the normal one. And there's the silver one, and there's the gold one. And oh my gosh, that was a lot of giant items. Probably might be helpful for like later on, honestly, because right now all of these are just magnetizing toward us, so pretty easy gains right there. But. Oh, how are they going to react when they notice, huh, a bite has been taken out of the food. Maybe Potato Cookie's going to be like, oh, you know, you've already taken a bite out of them already. Like, you know, you had to taste test them, right? But then that would be bad because then they'd be like, oh, that actually reminds us. We didn't taste test this uh, potato. And no, 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 we didn't taste test this potato. And then they'd just be like, oh, we'll take a bite out of it. But they're, they're going to be taking a bite out of a pig. And they wouldn't be taking a bite out of it, but they would just chomp on it. And the pig would start freaking out. And they'd just be like, what's going on here? Then again, if that was the case, like, it would have some sort of a cliffhanger end like that. How would it work for the rest of the story? That's what I'm curious. Maybe the uh, baby potatoes, or the baby potato plebs, which will try and find some way to uh, rectify the whole situation, to make everyone feel better, and make the whole entire contest worthwhile again? I don't know. It seems pretty interesting, because it, I wonder... Because, like, those drop vegetables. Would those give more points? I don't know. Because the thing is, I'm not collecting it. Oh, I should have gotten that magnet. Magnet would have been so much better. I did get S rank though. That's what I at least wanted for maximum points. Uh, I don't know if uh, breaking those vegetable things would be good. Oh, actually, maybe if I got the magnet power up, maybe. Only just because then I could collect the uh, vegetables. But that it, it, like it only lasts for eight seconds, so I would have to perfectly like 
make sure I find out how many jumps I do, so I'd ha so I'd have like enough jumps to collect everything. It's a lot harder than you would think. Trust me, because it's like you need to count everything in your head or just like say it out loud. I'm not sure what type of commentary that would be. If just, I just go like one, two, three, four, five, six. Of course, I've done it before, but not like to like major extents. I don't even think I'll be able to reach 500 million in just this run because uh, my cookie is somewhat on the lower level side. I mean, maybe, but I would need a lot of potions. And this would need to give me an absurd amount of points. I mean, look at all those big bear jellies. And honestly, would the uh, plumbing skill with the silver pig potato like, even help? Only just because I'm thinking about it in regards to, like, yeah, sure, I do get, like, big, like, the plumbing giant potions. But, like, do I really even pick up anything with them? Are they going to really be, like, beneficial to me in any way, shape, or form? Because, honestly, I'm not too sure. Mm, I'm not even sure if, like, the noble jellies... At least I am getting a lot of points with, like, just the jellies. But, like, still, I'm not even sure if it would be possible to uh, try and get anything higher without, like, having to raise my cookies levels. Which, obviously, I can. But I did get S rank anyway. So, that's the thing I should be happy about because I'm pretty sure to even proceed with the levels and stuff, I need to at least get S rank. So, everything else, it's just it's just minimal. I will take my S rank loot right now. Good amount of crystals, spear potions, all that stuff. And look at that. Congratulations. You successfully completed the giant and veggie contest. Well, I completed one story. I didn't complete the uh, whole thing. I only completed a healthy competition. Which, hey, thank you for the 10 plus 1 treasure ticket. I will take those. Hopefully I can get something good out of that. And back to the story. Sure, it's now time to white potato cookies giant potato. I have never seen such a hearty potato before. Wow, it really, it's really, really heavy. I could probably make 100 sandwiches with it. Well, it's so much heavier than me. Seeing such an amazing potato makes me more curious about your farming secrets, Potato Cookie. Could you please tell us? I don't really have secrets to it. Well, stay still, stay still, Potato. We're, we're almost, we're almost done. Oh, last night. Oh, stay still. The other potatoes are licking off the butter, and I think it tickles. It really looks exactly like a giant potato, but it won't stop squirming. Will I be able to make it to the contest? Whoa, it's running away again. Catch him! I had not thought about that. I thought I just had to paint it as similar as, as similar as possible. Here, I'll block over there. Hmm? What's this noise? I think the ceiling is shaking too. What? But melon bone? What the pleb? Golly! What in the world is going on? I should wake my brothers up. I should wake my brothers and sisters. Ugh! Finally, made it through. Huh? What's this? I I, I got it. Where am I? Huh? A butter potato? Potato? I I never seen such a big potato move around like that. Uh. I might run outside. Whoever you are, you might... You, you, whoever you are, hold on to it tight. Don't let go. Okay, it's sheer slippery, but I'll try. I was mining and digging for ore and ended up somehow in the wrong place. You just made a huge hole in someone else's home. That's okay. Things happen. I should thank you for catching my potato. Uh, potato. I can fix that hole tomorrow morning. You sure have a big heart. I like you. I'm Melon Button Cookie. I took the wrong path and made a hole on you all. I'm so sorry. No worries. I'm Potato Cookie. Or just pig, f Potato Cookie. I'm going to mix up the words pigtato and potato so much in this series. And this is Butter Pretzel Cookie, and this is Poppin' Candy Cookie. Ah, I know, Poppin' Candy Cookie. What's all the fuss about? Uh, tomorrow's the giant veggie contest, but Potato Cookie's giant potato is gone. So you turned this giant pota pigtato into a giant potato? Genius! You're a fun, you're a fun bunch. Huh. This is still my life butter, this is, this is my still life butter painting. A masterpiece. Thanks for all the help, but I don't think I can make, I can, I don't think I can take this pigtato to the contest if it keeps moving like this. I'm sorry, I, I know how hard everyone tried. What are you talking about? Just make it just make it move then. Huh? How? Do you have any idea, Melon Bone Cookie? Rewards can solve many things. For example, a bowl of jelly soup after a long day at work tastes so much better than any sort of soup. Oh, I know that feeling. When I listen to Shining Glitter Cookie's songs after a long performance, it's like my tiredness melts away. I feel relaxed when I go buy some butter paint. Before I couldn't buy a lot because I was too or it was too expensive, but now I buy all the colors I want. I know that feeling too. The dinner with my little siblings at the end, the long hard work and day tastes the best. Exactly. So, we'll need to reward the potato if it doesn't move. Uh, how? You see, mine just carry little jellies and snacks since we're so focused on work sometimes. It's small and very yummy. Very convenient. So, while potato is up on the stage, you should give some treats that will help you make, stay, make it stay still. How about that butter? What? Are you talking about my paint? Yeah, how about we make a little butter balls out of it and secretly feed it to the time to time. I'm sure it'll stay still then. Great idea. Oh, it really is staying still now. That is the wisdom of life, everyone. <laughs> that is my paint. By the way, don't you think there's a chance that another giant potato is in the ground? How about we try digging it up, potato cookie? I can help. But it's, but it's the morning soon. 
We don't have time. All right, then. Now all you have to do is introduce the giant potato. So you can practice while we're here. Oh, sure. Uh, so, uh, I'm a, uh, I'm a giant potato, and this is my potato cookie. No, 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 that, that, that's not it. You're too nervous. <laughs> You're too nervous. You need to look and sound confident. Watch me. Confidence is key on stage. Put a friendly smile on, and don't forget to make eye contact. Friendly smile and eye contact. Like this? Definitely not like that. Looks too awkward for potato cookie. No, you need to look sweeter. Like this? No, you, you need to look cuter. This is a bigger problem than, than the potato. I don't think it's that much of a problem. What, what the plum? Anyway, I took great care growing this giant potato. I kept my eyes on it at all times. Wow, sounds like a lot of hard work went into growing this giant potato. No wonder why it grew so big and delicious. Uh, potato Cookie's actually doing pretty well on the stage. Maybe he was born to be a performer. True. Pop and Candy Cookie would have been so happy to see him on stage, too. It's too bad that he had to go to another shoot. I should take lots of pictures to send to him. Ah, thank you. This is truly an amazing giant potato. What do you think, judges? It makes me want to make a sandwich right now. I'm giving you a perfect score. It looks so plump and delicious. Without a doubt, I'm giving you a perfect score, too. It's really cute for some reason. I think I can eat this potato. Well, it sounds like we won't be needing a judge further. Spinach Cookie and Beet Cookie have automatically been disqualified, which puts Potato Cookie in first place. Congratulations! Oh yeah, I forgot. Spinach Cookie got disqualified because they wanted to try and use all the vegetables here. Yay! Potato Cookie! You did it! You're first! I, I really did it! W what's the prize? I, I hope it's something like- I hope it's something uh, Baby Potato Cookie likes. The prize is for the, for the winner is... Oh, that's the pumpkin reward. And... It's our supplies? A veggie trophy set and a set of school supplies? Like growing vegetables, the young cookies of the hamlet are growing too, so we prepared a school supply set. The trophy is made from veg uh, fresh veggies too. Neat, right? That... That is... That's what I worked hard for? Huh. Certainly not what I had in mind, but it's not too bad. What? See? My little siblings love it. Whoa! Look! There's crayons and sketchbooks too! Come on, let's go draw! Uh oh. Did something just move? Good tingly bones! Th that giant potato is moving! A and the vegetables that were around it are all almost gone! Oh no, potato. The contest isn't over yet. You have to stay still! The giant potato is moving! I told you it moved before! Apple Cookie was right! What's happening? That's, that's not a giant potato, it's a pigtato! Someone catch that pigtato! Oh shoot! It's all going to. Oh no! That's my microphone! The pigtato is eating the veggie trophy too! So adorable! <laughs> Apple Cookie loves this! And why is spinach cookie still here? No! So it wasn't a buttery giant potato, but a pigtato covered in butter? Potato cookie tricked us all! I'm so sorry, everyone. I just didn't want to disappoint my little siblings. Potato cookie! Good tingly bones! How will this affect the results of the contest now? Uh, but it's just too adorable. I, 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 I agree. It, it is so cute. Plus, the potato looks very healthy. Watching the potato eat the veggies are making me want to eat veggies, too. I think I want to try some veggies, too. Wow, Apple Cookie's voluntarily eating vegetables? This is amazing! A potato that made even Apple Cookie eat vegetables. Can I take the potato to my shop too? Huh. I would say the potato cookie deserves the win. Thank you so much, everyone. Next time I'll complete- I'll, I'll compete fair and square. I'm so sorry for tricking you all. If you're ever shorthanded or need my help, I would be happy to help out. Just, just let me know. The big- the potatoes- the potatoes ate my giant potato, but I had a great potato harvest this year, so I would love to invite everyone to my place tonight. I'll cook you delicious potatoes. Sounds great. Let's go to potato. Uh, let's go to Potato Cookie's house and just you know his place, everyone. Oh, I'm in. Aw. <sighs> what a day. Looks like Baby Potato Cookie's had fun too. Hmm. Dear diary, today my family won the giant veggie contest. At first, I thought we wouldn't be able to enter because the pig potatoes ate all the giant potatoes, but it was just the one giant potato. But Potato Cookie made even the better potato. It was made so much fun. We'll have to enter again next time. From now on, I'm only going to help out with the farming. I love, love, love my family so much. Oh, that's a sweet and humble ending. Especially with that, like, last music that they used. But there we go. This whole entire event is done now. There is other stuff you can do. Hard mode's now available. Our bone rattling, our bone rattling, our bone rattlingly fast cookies. Welcome to hard mode. Oh, shoot. In hard mode, there are more ranks waiting for you past S. Even if there are new farming techniques you haven't seen, there are even new farming techniques you haven't even seen, you, you even at, you've never seen them before, you know? Don't miss out on the ranks, rewards, and amazing titles. I'm gonna save that for another video, because this is already too insane for me. Let's just get these rewards, and we're done here, 
And I think there's some other rewards that I can get here. All this stuff, close to 500 million, of course, because why not? That's it, ended there. Maybe that's why uh, hard mode now exists now. So maybe I could do all the levels in a single run. I don't know. Or maybe there's some new exclusive cutscene. But apparently, I guess also the stories between a happy contest and a healthy competition, they're both separate. So, hey, at least we got, we achieved all S ranks, so we can enter this, but we just have to wait for the time limit. So with that being said, if you enjoyed this video, then please be sure to leave a like on it, and also share this video with your friends who you enjoy my quick run content, and if you enjoy my content in general, why not subscribe, and also hit the bell icon to be notified of whatever I do in the future. I also have merch if you want to check it out, but I'm not forcing you to buy anything at all. I also have a Discord down in the description if you want to check it out. It's called the Hype Hub. It's a fun time down there, and we're trying to expand each and every single day. And last but certainly not least, there's another link down in the description that leads to a Twitter post, where if it gets 10,000 likes, I can get the cooker on YouTube set for absolutely free. But above all else, I will see you into these and guardians in the next video. Hail the Hype Knees.